Hi guys, Miss Wright here. I'm here in our classroom. Take a look around. I wanted to come back to our classroom to make this video because this week is a very special week. It is your very last week of kindergarten. Nine months ago, you guys walked into this classroom, our classroom, and you were full of emotions. You were excited, nervous, scared, and some of you were even sad, but you stayed and we read stories together and we played games and we shared many, many hugs and high fives. You learned how to read and how to work together and solve problems. And you even learned what it takes to be a good friend. While the end of our year didn't go quite like any of us had expected, there is still so much for us to celebrate. We made a special Kindergarten Memories video for you guys that you can watch over and over again so that you don't forget all the fun things that we did together this year. We also wanted to celebrate each one of you and all that you have accomplished in your very first year of school. So we have some special candy awards to give to each one of you. The very first award that I have is the M&M Award. This award is for a marvelous and magnificent student. This student is an all around awesome student. She knows when it's time to work hard and she knows when it's time to be silly too. She always did her best work in class and she is such a sweet friend to her classmates. This award goes to the marvelous and magnificent Brielle. The next award that I have is the Gobstopper Award. This award is for always having gobs of great work and great ideas. This student has done gobs of work all year long, but she has been working especially hard over the last few months during our time learning from home. She's turned in nearly every assignment and she has sent me some videos that I think could teach you guys better than my videos did. The Gobstopper Award goes to Holly. Congratulations, Holly. The next award I have is the Whoppers Award. This award is for being such a great storyteller. Whether it was listening to a story or writing a story or even just making up a story, this student loved story time, especially if she had the other students' attention and could make them laugh. She always had a happy smile on her face. And the Whopper Award goes to Myra. Congratulations, Myra. The next award that I have is the Dove Award. This award is for being the class peacemaker. This year we had a very loving group of students, but we did have some arguments every now and then. And this student was always willing to step in and think reasonably to help find a solution. This student has always been um, helpful for her classmates and she loves her classmates and was right there to check on them if they were sad or hurt. The Dove Award goes to Lily. Good job, Lily. The next award that I have is the Fun Dip Award. <laughs> this award is for being eager to learn and having a fun-loving attitude. This young man did work diligently and was determined to get all of his work finished nicely. Yet he loved center time and he was intrigued by our STEM activities and um, projects. He also tried to finish, figure out how, to, how things worked and he was eager and excited to learn. The Fun Dip Award goes to Walter. Good job, Walter. The next award I have is the Smarties Award. This award is for intelligence and hard work in all areas. This student helped raise the bar, especially in reading. He was a whiz in reading, yet he also excelled in many other areas. He was a great, he has great problem solving abilities and a willingness to help others when they need it. The Smarties Award goes to Henry. Good job, Henry. The next award I have is the Laffy Taffy Award. This award is for having the most fun while learning. This student always had a smile on his face and he found ways to put a smile on others as well. 
Everyone needs a good laugh every now and then, and I want to thank this student for helping us do just that each day. The Laffy Taffy Award goes to Colin. Good job, Colin. The next award I have is the Crunch Award. This award is for someone who always came through in a crunch. This student is the strong and silent type. He didn't always have a lot to say in class, but he was always there with a friendly smile ready to learn. I knew that I could count on him in crunch time to do exactly what was expected. The Crunch Award goes to Kaden. Good job, Kaden. The next award that I have is the Mr. Goodbar Award. This award is for always being a good friend to classmates. This student surprised me with his sweet and loving personality. I could always count on him to work well with anyone in the class. What a great quality to have, being able to get along with everyone. He has an easygoing personality that everyone loves. The Mr. Goodbar Award goes to Wyatt. Good job, Wyatt. The next award that I have is the Sweet Tarts Award. This award is for being such a sweet friend to everyone in class. This student has such a calm and loving personality. He had the, we had the whole, we had a whole class of sweet kids, but she was always a leader in showing kindness and care to others. She's able to get along with everyone and loves to give hugs. The Sweet Tarts Award goes to Emily. The next award that I have is the Nutrageous Award. This award is for having such an outstanding personality. This student always amazes me with the witty things that he comes up with. He's a ball of energy, a quick thinker, a math whiz, and he has the most contagious laugh that I have ever heard. The Nutrageous Award goes to Nolan. Good job, Nolan. The next award that I have is the Milky Way Award. This award is for setting an example for others by having a quality of work that is out of this world. This student set the, very, the bar very high for our class. She was always willing to work hard even if things weren't easy at first. She always put forth her best effort to make sure that her work was complete and neat. And she was also like a little mama in our classroom, making sure to help others, even Miss Wright when I made a mistake. The Milky Way Award goes to Alana. Good job, Alana. The next award that I have is the Almond Joy Award. This award is for being such a joyful learner every day. This student has been a joy to teach, and she is one smart cookie. She can be so quiet at times that it's a surprise when you see her jump out of her shell. She always has a big smile on her face, and she loved to show me the cool things that she could do on the playground. She was always saying, Miss Wright, watch this. The Almond Joy Award goes to Savannah. Good job, Savannah. The next award that I have is the Starburst Award. This award is for a star student who worked hard every day in all areas. This student set the bar high as well. She is a math and reading whiz, and she always made sure to take her time, and her work came out beautifully. She is a great leader and always sets a good example for others. The Star Wars Award goes to Avery. Good job, Avery. The next award that I have is the Twizzlers Award. This award is for dancing through work with a great attitude and a flair for learning. This, this student has a flair for life. She loves to sing and dance, and she always was a joy to watch when her imagination came out in Kitchen Center. She had a perfect role when she was the leaf dancer in Goldilocks, and her smile and fun-loving attitude were a joy for everyone. The Twizzler Award goes to... Stella. Good job, Stella. And the last award that I have is the Jolly Rancher Award. This award is for being so happy to learn every day. The student, this student has a smile that is contagious and she has grown so much in learning and has made leaps and bounds in both reading and in math. 
The Jolly Rancher Award goes to Luciani. Good job, Luciani. This is a very special group of students. We have been through so much together and we have all learned so many new things along the way. I'm very proud of all of you for hanging in there and finishing out the year. And I wanna say a big thank you to you parents who helped throughout the year and for really stepping it up big when we closed schools in March. Um, you helped your, your child finish the year strong. And before we go, I wanna make sure that all of my kiddos know that I believe in each of you. And I know that whatever you decide to do in your life, you will be successful as long as you keep working hard and following your heart. I know that much of this school year might fade from our memories as time goes on, but I hope that we see each other again. And when we do, whether that's in a few months or if it's 20 years from now, I hope that we can look at each other with a big smile as all those happy kindergarten memories come rushing back. I can't wait to hear all about all your exciting new adventures and you know that Miss Wright never turns down a hug, so make sure you come back to see me. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.